So the next thing to do is have a look at the electronics for the lathe. So I'll start by going through all the components and then we'll talk about what each one does. So to start, we've got some NEMA 34 stepper motors for the Z and X axes. We have a treadmill motor. We have a 48 volt power supply. A line filter. Some stepper drives. A breakout board. A spindle control board. Some relays. A 12 volt to 5 volt step down. A 12 volt power supply. And a DC water speed control board. So this is as basic a CNC control system as you're going to see. You'll notice many of the parts are your generic hobby type CNC components. Um, but for this build, they are more adequate. So this is our 48 volt power supply. It has a line filter on the input side. And this is for powering our stepper drivers that power our stepper motors. These are CW8060 stepper drives. They're just a generic Chinese driver. Uh, we get our signals for our stepper drivers from our breakout board, which in turn is connected to our control PC. You know, we'll be using Linux NC on this build. So we've got a spindle speed control board here. This is from CNC for PC. And what it does is takes step, pulse, step pulses and converts them to a 0 to 10 volt DC signal, which is industry standard for controlling the likes of VFDs or in our case, this DC uh, driver board, spindle driver board. We have some relays here, so this will be for uh, flood coolant and possibly mist coolant and maybe other stuff on down the line. We then have a 12 volt power supply, a 12 volt to 5 volt step down, which powers our breakout board. So most of the components are here, but we have some wiring left to do and some things to change. So I'd really like to change our signal cables to our stepper drives to shielded ethernet cable. I find this works well in all our builds. Uh, we'll need to connect up our motion control board to our driver and then into our, our treadmill motor. This is just your sort of standard treadmill motor. I want to put another line filter in and this will be for the driver because we're going to probably get some noise from it coming from this driver. So the spindle also has an encoder on it and we use this for screw cutting and for accurately measuring spindle speed. So we'll need to get this fitted and wired in. Originally the machine didn't come with limit switches. I'm not actually sure how they managed to work that, but we're going to have to fit limit switches and wire them in. But other than that, that's pretty much it. It's a very, very simple system. When you boil it down, it's really you're really only controlling three motors. That's it. Um, we'll need to do some configuration of the software. We're going to be using Linux CNC. And I'll do a video on configuring it, but again, it's very simple. Let's just click through. So for anyone who's doing their own conversion and has decided to use a treadmill motor and a KBIC control board, just something to note. So the industry standard for spindle speed control is usually 0 to 10 volt DC analog signal. And this is what our CNC for PC board is set up to do. However, looking at the manual for the KBIC board, 
they use a 0 to 7 volt signal. So what we'll have to do is scale back in our software to allow for that. And I'll show that when I'm doing our video on the software side. So our next job is to make a motor mount for the spindle motor. We're going to clean and power coat the Z and X axes mounts for the motors. And then I think we're ready to wire the rest of the stuff up and switch it on and see what happens.